Last time out, we beat Real Madrid in a game that saw us finish up with nine men. Can we repeat the feat today and qualify for the semi-finals of the Champions League with a team decimated by injuries and suspensions and unregistrants? Is unregistrants a word? I think you get what I mean. Let's find out in today's episode of Copping the Title. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes FM, back at you once again with another video and we are back on copying the title. Yeah, I've been enjoying this series really, really loads. Really, really loads? Good English. But yeah, I've been enjoying this and not just not been keeping up with it just because of the phenomenal success of East Ham. Uh, but since you were last with me in this series, we've beat Bournemouth 2-0 in the league. Which is a very good performance considering if you look down there or over there. Where are you? Come on, mouse. Yep. See, Bournemouth, fifth in the table. Very decent result. So, very pleased to have beaten them. But this is the big, big game today. Real Madrid away in the Bernabeu. This is going to be difficult. It would be difficult anyway. But, oh, do I dare to show you what team I've got today? I'm a little bit scared. I don't know what to show. I don't know if to show you it or not. I've got her, haven't I? Oh, okay. Here we go. This is awful. This team we've got. <sighs> we have got a four-four-two diamond, and this is not the team I'd normally be going with. But like I said in the intro. This team has been decimated by injuries and suspensions and people not being registered. Because look at that. Wijnaldum's not registered because he just couldn't fit in the squad when I had everybody fit. Milner's injured. How long is he injured for? 12 days in 3 weeks, somewhere in between that. Sturridge is injured again, 6 to 12 days. Firmino, how long is he out for? 8 days in 2 weeks. Lovren suspended because he got himself sent off in the first leg. Chamberlain's not registered, just for the same reason as Wijnaldum. Uh, Gruzic, I think that's how you pronounce it, he's unregistered. Uh, Moreno, who's been awesome at left back for us, he's out for three weeks, for three to twelve days. Matip is suspended, again he got sent off in the first leg because he's an absolute pleb. And yeah, Emre Can's not registered. So that has left us with this situation where we've only got three three substitutes if this is going badly i've got no way of changing this ah oh, so let's show you and talk you through the team we have got for today's game we've got mingale in goal klein at left back nastasic henderson and alexander arnold in the defense yep henderson in defense i had to put him in defense in the first leg again if you haven't seen it go check it out and yeah, Henderson, he came into defence for the last half hour-ish of that game, I think it was. And he came in and he did okay. We got the win, so he, so he must have done alright. And then, well, look at this midfield. Daniel Wass, who is a very good player. He can play in every position, which is very, very thankful for that at the minute. He solved this particular crisis. Because, like I say, we've only got two central defenders that are fit at the minute. So Wash has come in. He's gone in as the defensive midfielder. Lalana and Njonzi are in the centre of the pitch. But the one piece of good news for today is that Philippe Coutinho is back in the squad. Can he create some of his magic he's had all year? Because what's he scored now? 12 goals this year with an average rating of 7.3. So if he can recreate, recreate some of that, we might just have a chance of beating Madrid today. And up top, we've got Sadio Mane and Dominic Solanke. So, what do you guys think? Crack on? I'm so nervous. Let's go. Okay, match preview time. Real Madrid, not surprisingly, are favourites. They're evens to win this game. So you would really think they're going to. But their form lately has been inconsistent. So hopefully, maybe, we could take a little bit of advantage of that and get a win. But let's go start this game off. I've talked you through our team. 
let's see what Nightmare Madrid have got for us. Here we are, they're going for a 4 1 2 3. They've got Navas in goal, Nacho on the left, Ramos and Varane. Ooh, as my microphone just about goes again. Ramos and Varane in the centre. Carvajal out on the right. Where are we? He's out on the right. Yep. Casemiro in the middle. Cruz and Modric in the centre of midfield. And then the danger man, Ronaldo, out on the left. Isco on the right. And Benzema up top. So maybe they're only having Benzema as their sole striker. We might be able to hold them out. But you never know. Let's go. I'm going to go to the lads. Going to go passionately. Uh, what do I say? We've got nothing to lose here. Well, we have got we've got everything to lose. We're currently qualifying, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. We've been on a good run lately. Go out there and impress us. A couple of the players have reacted positively. That's good. Hand it over to the assistant, and he adds absolutely nothing. Let's go to the tunnel, and yep, just send me assistant for that. And here we go. The Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid is packed and rocking for this game. As Madrid kick it off, Casemiro to Nacho, to Ronaldo, break his leg in the first minute please. But he goes wide to Carvajal, to Isco and that's the end of that very exciting first highlight. We go Madrid on the attack, 7 minutes in and Ronaldo's on the edge of the box, can we close him down please? He's crossed it in and oh, Cruz volleys it over. More of that would be beautiful. 15 minutes in, Mingale with the goal kick for us. He goes long, and Kamane win this. Nope, Ramos heads it away. Goes to Was, who just passes it to absolutely nobody. But oh, he's taking a bit of a deflection there. And Mane's on the ball. He's out wide. Can he cross it in? He does, but... Wow. Champions League quarterfinal, people. I've seen better, I've seen better football on the East Ham save. Still on the same highlight, we've got the ball back, Lallana's got it forward, Solanke's out wide with a cross, Coutinho with a shot and it's saved and it's hit the post! Oh what on earth is happening here? 28 minutes gone, us with a throw in, Enzonzi loses it there to Cruz, Benzema in his own half goes to Isco, Isco goes long and Ronaldo's in space, this is dangerous, cross it, tackle him! Ronaldo's going to cross it, he does. Benzema with a shot, and ah! Oh, that goal puts Real Madrid through as things stand. What do we do now, lads? What do we do? Have I got us on attacking? I might have to go attacking now. Yeah, I've got us on attacking. So I'm just going to go encourage the lads. See if that does anything before half time. And now Carver Howe with a ball. Modric to Cruz and just on the edge of the box goes to Ronaldo. Ronaldo with a shot and oh what a stop for Mingale. Cracking save that. That's something you Liverpool fans haven't said too much is it? 35 minutes gone. Mingale with another goal kick goes to absolutely nobody but Mane manages to pick the ball up there. Can he pass it? He does. Goes to Enzonzi who why? Why? No idea. Now, Ronaldo to Isco. Oh, this is going to be their second, isn't it? Yeah, Ronaldo. And... Uh... Wow. We are headed out of the Champions League. I've waited a week and a half to record this. Just to see us get absolutely decimated. If we don't concede any more before half time, I'm going to make some changes. Carrying straight on after that goal though, we've got another highlight. Nastasic wide to Klein, and Klein with the ball, goes to Solanke. And can he pass it on? He does, it's Coutinho in space. Mane shoots, and Mane off the bar. Oh, we've had one off the post, and now one off the bar. You know what lads, we're going back to what we know. We've gone back to the 5-2-1-2. Wash has dropped back into the centre of defence. Klein is on the left. He's having a 5.7. Wow, that is dreadful. That might explain why we're losing. Wow. Okay, so Klein on the left. He's going to go attacking, as is Alexander-Arnold. And Lallana and Nzonzi keep their place in the centre of midfield. Everything else is the same. 
But I'm just going to get into the lads and I'm going to go assertively, actually. Just did just think of one thing I want to change. Exploit the flanks, hit early crosses and suit on sight. That's what we're going to go for here. And be more expressive, why not? And I'm going to go team talk, I'm going to go assertively. Absolutely not good enough. Where are we? Show me something else. There we are. And all the players are fired up. Let's go and win this, eh, lads? Who remembers Istanbul? This would be as good a comeback, if not better. 55 minutes in. Enzonzi with the ball now in the first highlight of the second half. Modric intercepts it there. Ah, oh, they're coming forward again. This is not good. Good tackle there, though. But Modric is in space if he gets to it first. He doesn't. Nastasic goes to Mingale, who tries to clear it wide, but there's nobody there. Theo with the ball, Ronaldo in space, and Cruz, this is going to end it. Ah, oh, buying this camera was not a good idea. Blooming, we lost the last game on East Ham quite badly, and now we're losing this one quite badly. It's, it's you guys, now you can see us, now you can see us all. They just don't want to perform. Oh well, didn't want to win the Champions League anyway, who wants the asshole? You know what lads? We're 3-0 down on the night, we need a stupid amount of goals, even though I don't know how many we need, what, three? We need three goals to win this. Go for it, eh? Why not just go for it? So we've got Salah up top on the left, Alexander-Arnold pushed forward on the right, and you know what, Mane's been awful, so you know you're desperate when you're chucking on Danny Ings to win the game for you. But that's what we're doing, let's go for it. And let's just go attacking and leave it at that. Let's see what happens, eh? You never know. 20 minutes left in the game. We've just headed the ball backwards. Henderson to Alexander-Arnold. And can he beat his man? Come on, nope. Theo takes it off him far too easily. And now Gareth Bale, who's just come on the pitch, goes to Cruz. And we intercept it. Coutinho and Ings, you've just come on the pitch. How slow are you? Enzonzi now with the ball for us, to Lalana, wide to Alexander-Arnold, to Enzonzi, and Danny Ings just again does not bother even trying to run for that ball. Now Navas plays it wide, and Bale, this is a very long highlight, there's going to be another goal in there. Benzema, to Modric in space, he shoots and oh, just wide. 15 minutes remaining, once again Real Madrid have the ball. This has been pretty much a training exercise for Real Madrid. Benjamin's through again, and Mingale with a stop. I think if it wasn't for Mingale, we'd be at least 6-0 down at the minute. Modric with the corner, he's already applauding, and the header there just goes into Mingale's hands. Finally, it looks like this game might just be over. Asensio is into the box, he goes for the shot, and Mingale with a save. Come on, referee. Let us all get back on the aeroplane. Let us go back home. And indeed he has. He's actually listened to me for a change. And yeah. Disappointing. Disappointing. But let's go in the dressing room. Let's go, you lads. That really was not good enough. I'm going to go. It's unacceptable. And most of them are motivated. So that's good. I'm going to hand it over to the assistant. He had absolutely nothing as per usual. And then we're going to leave the game there. And so we'll just check out uh, the league table and we'll work out where we're going to be back for this series. Oh, in other Champions League news, Man United have beat Man City 3-0 on aggregate in the Manchester derby. I think that's the first ever one in the Champions League. It's got to be, surely. And so that's a very interesting result. And now, let's, speaking of Man U, I think that's where we're going to come back. We've got a double header against United in the league and the FA Cup. Both two very big games. And so, yeah, that's that's what we're going to come back for. So I'll be back with you with that over the weekend, shall we say? Yeah, let's say Sunday. Sunday we'll come back with you for that. And so I'll be back tomorrow. So that's what, Thursday? Be back with you with East Ham tomorrow and Friday. And then I'll be back with you with this on Sunday. So, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, give me a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Hit the little bell button to get notified. And yeah, just one thing left to say. I am Bad Jokes FM. I am out.